Greetings guys, this is Tokraft and today we are on the new physics test server. Well, as many of you will know, new physics have been introduced, yeah, will be introduced into the game because Wargaming thought that tanks and World of Tanks don't move that realistically from other tanks. So what they did, they have, yeah, made and implemented new physics changes. So what will happen, a tank will easily slide more, as you can see. When you use the uh, the space bar, which indicates from the break of the tank, then the tank will slide. And also the um, stopping speed will be um, yeah, different from what it was. Because now they calculate it by the weight of the tank and the resistance, the ground resistance. So we are here on the test server now. And you can only drive a few tanks in a few maps. But so far I think the physics are doing pretty well. They are alright, but some of the physics are yeah, a little bit over the top in my opinion because the T1 has been buffed, but I will tell more about that later. But some of the physics are a little bit yeah, overrated because sometimes the tank just slides that far that it's not realistic anymore. And here we can see Boombox in the T62A, so Boombox show off some other physics changes as well. This will be an awesome way to learn driving again because it, the driving is not much different from what it was but what you need to take note of is that the tank will behave differently when you push the space bar as you can see. So when you need to come around the corner for instance, let's say this stone is a corner and you want to ambush the tanks you can just <coughs> push on the space bar and then the tank will make a quick turn if you press the... A or the D key to turn the tank and then press the spacebar at the same time. Then the tank will slide and make a very quick turn. So that is a really handy mechanic that they have introduced in my opinion. There are some problems with uh, jumps if you make them. <laughs> yeah, also what we need to mention. When you um, jump your tanks, the tank can actually flip rounds. No, 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 that's what you do. Yeah, okay, do it. Then I go there alone, okay? My shit! <laughs> yes, that really is my laugh. But anyway, I showed you that tanks could actually flip round now with the new physics changes. But let's continue with the video. And also some of the changes have made with the suspension because if you land with both tracks on the ground at the same time then the suspension will react differently so that the tracks won't take uh, that much damage. But if you land on one track individually then the track will get damaged more likely. So guys to take a look at the garage we have got just a few tanks of which we can play. We can play the T-54, takes a while to load. With the HD model, of course, so that takes a while to load. The T62A, the T1 Cunningham, which has been buffed extremely. I will make a uh, separate video about the T1. So stay tuned for that. I think that will be uploaded today or tomorrow. We'll see. The AMX 1390 and the AMX 5100. So I think Boombox and I am going to play a game in the T62A. We'll see you in battle. So guys, there are also just a few maps that you can play in this test server. This is one of them, Pearl River. And me and Boobox are platooned up in the T-62A. My plan is to go to the middle because many of you will know the tier 10 Russian medium tanks, the T-62A has got an almost impenetrable turret. But yeah, most of these people here shoot gold. So it's just a guess of this turret will bounce oh anything God, or not. So t 62 a accelerates really slow in my opinion in this test server but I don't know if this is the same as the real T62A so I can't really put my opinion on this but anyway it's T1 god <laughs> that guy goes ham holy moly oh that was a noob shot what <laughs> hello He's got 5,000 health because the T1 is buffed, so we'll just take him out, I guess. 
Oh, this guy, man. What the hell is this guy doing? He likes doing this, doesn't he? Oh, he's gone now. Um, can someone help me? Don't you have a repair pack? Oh yes, I do. Involved. Dude, this guy is blocking me. So side scrape him out then. This guy, man. This guy! He can't drive for shit, man. Anyway, I'm... I'm free. This guy's getting wrecked. He's gone. Thank you. Oh my god. Everyone just can't... Yeah, it's for sure oh. that they're not real pure fan players. Yeah, I can see that. Oh my god, just... Seriously, that counts as a hitbox? Are you kidding me? I'm almost dead. Yeah, just just, just play safe, man. Just don't take yeah, I'm hits. I'm playing safe already. Oh, that was a hit. There we go. I love the damage. <laughs> yeah, I like this gun because it has a really good rate of fire. I'm what watching the in the corner of my screen and I'm, I'm thinking how much damage did I do, but there's no XPM right yeah, now. Yeah, I know. I hate it when there's no XPM. Right. I know, oh, that and sucks a he's bit. He's back, he's back! Oh, get tracked! <laughs> get tracked. <laughs> what a uh, joke. That sounded so funny. <laughs> Kill him. Oh, I did one. I did put one shot into him. Good stuff. Where did the light tanks go? I think they're at the base. Yeah, right. But as you can see, guys, the tanks don't really behave that different from. Oh, yeah. Let me let me push the space bar in this corner. See, not that much difference. Only this new feature has been implemented. But I think not. Yeah, nothing that much has been changed, in my opinion. But. Some of the tanks do behave a little bit unrealistically, so we have to do think about how Wargaming are going to fix that stuff. But I think this is a really good yeah, update that Wargaming is going to make and implement into the game. Please drive up, mate. He's not driving up. Uh, Maybe he no, is. I'm not taking the risk, I'm just going for the other guy there. He didn't put any he didn't penetrate me, I guess. You take that side, I take the other side. No. That that guy's an autoloader, so we have to attack him at the same time. Oh shit. There's a guy there, so he can't possibly go there, so he's on this side. He has to be on the right side here somewhere. Dude, just hold fire. There's a guy randomly shooting behind me. Ah oh, there we go. Whoa, where the hell is he? Did he drive all the way up here, or is he just yeah, standing he's on the road? All the way up here. I can see him, I can see him. Good stuff. Oh, he oh. killed someone, oh my god. He's going ham. Hey, he jumped on <laughs> him. He jumped on him. Ramming speed! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> so worth it, man. So worth it. Oh, that was a bad shot. Did he seriously just... <laughs> well, oh, GG Jet was. <laughs> he just randomly... Oh my god. Whoa! These, th these, yeah, these tanks make you drive really weird, in my opinion. Oh, good. That was a good game for me. Yeah, for me too. I got Confederate. Confederate. No, I always knew that I loved the Russian heavies of the Russian me tier 10 medium tanks and this is only a proof of this. Almost 5k damage, good stuff. Well guys, as you can see in my opinion, nothing that much has been changed. Maybe for light tanks this um, yeah, physics change will be the hardest because yeah, these tanks have got the highest mobility of course. I think uh, the most has been changed for the uh, T1 Cunningham. 
Yeah, but that's just a buff that's that's not coming <laughs> into the game. But yeah. guys, other video will come up on the T1 Cunningham just for the fun of it because Wargaming have done something really funny to this. But anyway, this was just a small overview of the physics changes. Anyway, I hope you liked this video. If you did, please consider giving it a like down below because I did put a lot of time in making this video. And Thanks subscribe. Boombox for playing. <laughs> yes, of course, subscribe and thank Boombox for playing with me together. No problem. No problem. No problem. Anyway, get tracked and I'll see you next time. Bye.